boss talk. Since one. last time I came yeah, to uh, talk, up over here, fun. yeah. We on fire. We be lit, lit, lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way. And we create content every damn day. Man, hey, make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you hey, look at that membership. Try to get on board with membership. Make sure you uh, check out our Patreon as well. Make sure you tapping in the Boss Talk 101 on all streaming platforms, my guy. Check it, man. We got a guy here today. He don't need no introduction. This is his second time on the show. It's been almost two years since he's been on Boss Talk 101. We had very, we had just started. We were jumping off with it, and Flex and Fab came through the building, came in and shut it down. What's up, baby? What's up, brother? I'm here. I'm man. happy to be here. You see, I turned it up. He turned it down. Damn. Oh, Damn. Man, I'm excited, <laughs> brother. I'm excited. Man, when you came last time, I was so excited about the Zaytoven thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't even know if you guys still rocking. Y'all still yeah, talking? Yeah, man, hell yeah. Shout out to Zay, man. Shout out to everybody, family down there in Atlanta, man. Like, like they got a lot of stuff going on. I ended up having a bunch of stuff going on, kind of like you said. Like, we, we, yeah, we probably damn near two years since we had uh, last came over here. So, like, I kind of picked up. A little bit more motion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like they end up having their stuff going on, and it's kind of like I go to Atlanta, or they hit me when they need something down here. It's always love, it's always family, you know what I'm saying? You, you, just, I think you was in a situation last time. I want to say, wasn't you? Were, were you under a deal or something last time? Or nah, you you independent. Uh -huh. You don't have no deal, yeah. no ties, no nothing. Nothing. So it's just you. It's Come just get me. Back in Come the day, me. it's just me myself. Y'all don't know about that. Hey, how you was like talking me? Oh man, you gotta go watch the first episode. Yeah. You gotta go it watch the first it episode, dog. No. It was hard. Long, long story short, I ain't gonna lie. What's your name? That's Money, Money Moses. Moses. What is it? Money, Money Moses. Money Moses. Okay, bro, I'm Fab, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm Flex of Fab. Good to meet you. But yeah, nah. Long story short, bro. Like, I feel like. If I remember it correctly, you know what I'm saying? There's receipts that we can go check the first episode if I tell it wrong. But basically, bro, like I had did like a like an interview just kind of like this, like a podcast or like whatever it was, right? And dude had me do like a damn live freestyle or something. But it was like a live, like, like a live stream, right? Yeah. And then, I don't know, next week, the dude at the studio, he's like, oh, bros, they tell me I want to work with you, some other shit. And I'm like... Yeah, right. Like, right? Like, whatever. And then my manager called me. He's like, bro, they just called me. Like, we going to Atlanta. I'm like, oh, okay. And ever since then, it was just like, like, come on, let's go. They like, got you know videos together and everything, yeah, which is live. Music, like. we, did, we did a bunch of music, bro. We did a bunch of, like, you know what I'm saying? When you ready to start getting into music, start putting projects together, you know you can call me. You know it's ready. No, he like, called. He, he, he started, he, from the time you were here, he started Answer my DMs, yeah, we start DMing man. back. Yeah. He kept asking me about artists, though. I was like, man, yeah, I need yeah, you yeah. to interview. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, like, yeah. If you know any artists that want to get, you know, trying you to know, do. you know, them folks, they real, they real, like, bro, they real live hustlers down there in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Especially Zay coming from like the era he came from and all the people he came up with, and like, you know what I'm saying? They always trying to find the new next like talent that's kind of bubbling and kind of trying to get in on it, and, and and let's see what can come from it. You know what I'm saying? Like. They just real lives just love work down there. Work ethic just crazy down there. That's why I really got along with them so much, though, because, like, nine times out of ten, it's like, okay, you invite somebody on the show, and me and we, you already did an episode. We can chop it up like this. We ain't spoke in how long. We pick it up right back where we left yeah, off. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, somebody else maybe come in here and can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I go out there with Zay, it's like, bro, like, I know you're used to working with, like, Future and Gucci and all these people and like and like whatever, right? I'm like, bro, I'm finna go over there and I'm finna give the same energy. I'm finna pick that up right where they left it too. So when we did that first day, I met Zay. I mean, bro, like I said, bro, you can go look at the first episode. I tell yeah. all this shit. Yeah, but yeah. Like, we went over there. Y'all, y'all pulled up on him and, and and actually did the video in the in his hood, right? In the hood. Now I don't know if it was, was his, his hood, shit, but, but it was I, in the hood. It, we did it in Zone Three for in sure. Zone Three for sure. I mean, I ain't from Atlanta or nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't from Atlanta or nothing. I'm not claiming no size down in Atlanta. I fuck with the A though, bro. Real top, bro. I fuck with Atlanta, bro. Like I, I, bro. Bro, Zay and them changed my life, bro. Real wow. time, bro. Zay and them changed my life, bro. I don't know if I even felt as comfortable to say it last time, but yeah, I just did Yeah, they changed your life. Bro, them boys changed my life, bro. I ain't lying, bro. It was a time where, like, like in Dallas, bro, and I said this to you last time, like, in Dallas, bro, like, a lot of people wasn't fucking with me, bro. A lot of people were scared to fuck with me, bro. Like, I came out with my hair painted and my yep, nails. Yep, you remember yep, all that yep, shit? Yep. I came out wearing the little fly shit, like, 
Little funny clothes Just doing shit to go viral Doing shit to get my attention I mean uh, the people's attention on me And stuff like that And kind of like Everybody was scared to touch me though Didn't nobody want to touch the kid With the painted nails And the funny hair And the this and the that And right And like I had bro When Zay When Zay Like it was It was like okay There'll be DJs that play my song Okay for sure There'll be like Radio kind of got my song on the radio Like bet that's a bet That's like real industry shit You know what I'm saying I'm talking about like Nobody want to put me on their shows. The radio, 97.9 The Beat, but shouts out to them. You know, like I said Which last time. DJ? Shouts out to, I'm talking about everybody up there, though. Je, uh, 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 not just the DJs, but I'm talking about Cruz, Mark, Jesse. That's my boy. Mark and Jesse ain't even there no more. They Cruz was a program over at 104. Director. Yeah, bro, yes, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, everything has changed since the last time we talked. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Cruz be over here. He come on Boss Talk. Hey, bro, it's, Cruz, it's, it's, Cruz it's a real team. one, bro. Yeah. Cruz a real one, guy. bro. Shout out to Cruz, guy. bro. I love him to death. I, I tell him, hey, I've never failed to remind him every time I see him. Let me ask you this: like, like you, you've seen Big X the plug. He actually. Oh, oh, but not to cut you off. I want, I want to touch on yeah. that. But I was finna say, basically, is like all that to say that, like, when Zay and them brought me out to Atlanta, bro. When everybody had, I did the shows with them, frat shows, everything, everything was popping for me. Boom, videos, whatever, right? Then I came back to the city, and that's when it was finally like. Oh, Fab, we love you, bro. Like, why aren't you coming out more often? Like, bro, fuck y'all. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? But you always have to leave your, uh, the, the city first. To exactly. To know how big you are. You're right. Once you're you, right. Once you no, do you're that, right. then you'll see them all alone. I'm, I'm saying it was it was with him, though. He's yeah. the one that did that for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so. Yeah. so but I was going to ask you about just Big X Plug and, and, and just the movement. Like, you know, as far as the music being in Dallas, it's mm -hmm. been kind of, you know, it's been few and far between but like what who are you who are you seeing that that you feel like has got the motion outside of big x man i fuck, <laughs> i fuck with big x the plug i don't know him or nothing you know what i'm saying i never met him i don't i don't know like you been on boss talk okay yeah no bro i've been hey man let's put a pause on that bro i've been seeing your shit bro i ain't gonna lie like what i've been seeing like like i'm seeing y'all had chico bean on this house yeah y'all had the dude carlos y'all yeah. had bro man y'all had ice tea on yeah, this bro yeah. what y'all going crazy yeah, dog like, Shaga, don't get, don't yes, get it twisted jody breeze like yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. Bro, I uh, seen blood all that roll shit. yeah we can keep going around this i see y'all had didn't y'all have Devin haney pops yes sir oh, uh, bill uh, haney uh, yeah yeah and and a bunch and just a litany of people seen the fights last night man i'm getting it i'm starting to get into like like ufc and like getting into like the real like fighting and shit but I obviously i watched the uh who was it, it was Sprint, obviously earth spence man come on that shit was so crazy yeah i bro. mean you know that uh, shit was, and i didn't know uh obviously it's a new generation you know what i'm saying i'm watching growing up like i'm a little boy watching like Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather yeah, and shit, but yeah. I'm little. I don't understand that shit. Now I'm, I'm I'm like an adult and I'm like watching these like guys that's like my age. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at them. I'm like, bro, I didn't know Terrence Crawford. Bro, this man got shot in his head. He did and drove himself to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Dog, I'm not fighting you, bro. I'm not man, fighting man, you, no. one, bro. Well, I'm not Earl, fighting Earl him. Spence flipped the car like twenty times. I don't know, bro. It look, it look. I don't know, man. I don't know Earl Spence. I don't know Crawford. I don't know them boys. You yeah, know what me I'm saying? But that, that. I mean, I was excited to watch it. I'm like, you know, he's from the city, bro. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. And then I'm like, oh man, that's crazy. Man. Man, the, the dudes, the uh, the shop that I go to to get, I'm, I'm starting to get new tattoos and shit like that. Yeah, the yeah, shop yeah, I yeah. go to, they do a lot of Earl Spence tats and shit. So like, it's family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like. On the right day, I'll walk in here and he's in here and I'll meet him. Yeah. Or at the tattoo shop or the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? But I just haven't. You, yeah, I've never seen him either. I, I mean, um, I've never met him. Uh, I shot him out a lot of times on Boss Talk 101. I never, you know, I be saying in the city, you know, you like you just said, a prophet who died on his mm -hmm. own country. Like, you, I get, you know, Rick Ross like my pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, Birdman, show love to Boss Talk 101. I've seen that. Y'all um, have been wanting to have uh, uh, talk to Birdman. It's uh, all kind of like, like, I can keep going, man. Like I said, Ice T E40. Like, yeah. the, the, everybody like boss talk 101 from yeah, outside bro. of the city a lot of time be legit shout out to money b uh -huh. lazy bone like all these cats man they rock with boss talk 101 they be showing mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. but then it's, it's certain times like other people that's kind of sometimes you you can't see the picture from being in the picture we showed a lot of love to a lot of people in the city and um you, we just really you know like i said a lot of times it's hard to get them to mm -hmm. believe in you and then a lot of time it's conflict Right. They feel like other people they indebted to them because they may have been rocking with them and something yeah. might have been said. Being one that's not, I'm not from the music game. I'm, right, I'm right, a nigga right. that came from nothing. So 
when you get it out the mud and you know nobody knew you at first mm -hmm. then then these other niggas kind of try to you know what i'm saying they try to try to understand how to you know they don't understand how to deal with me to be honest with you when you look at a person that you look at that wall it was here when you came yeah i'm a nigga that i never needed nobody to make nothing happen yeah hey uh, you know what I'm nah bro, 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 bro that's crazy bro because i you know, I feel like me and you got along real well. Oh, I love both, you. I called you after we that. We both agreed on that, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, aside from getting along, bro, you're a good person. I'm a good person. We can sit down and talk, right? But yeah. like, I feel like a lot of the shit that, like, uh, career-wise, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of the stuff from, like, trials and tribulations and maybe even, like like you just said, like, more leaning towards, like, my dog, everything I did was what I did for myself. Yeah, you know I what did I'm saying? Like, like, it's like... You're right. I look at all this shit and I'm geek because I'm like, oh, they got like Chuck Liddell on here. Like, yeah, and that was long time. I'm on here with it, it, it's crazy. And I'm like, okay. Your picture over there, it wasn't over there last time. Oh, for real? Oh, I shall yeah, see. Yeah, nigga, it. stop oh, playing. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> see, that's, see, that's hard. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm. I'm People I'm, see I'm, it every time and ask about yeah, it too. You, they really like asking about that picture. See, bro, see that. What I'm saying, like, like it's like. And that was before you went big like this. Bro, see, that's. Bro, see, what's crazy is like, like, I I I feel exactly like what you said, bro. Like what you're saying, bro, yeah. is like like there's nowhere I can go or can't go that's like I come in and, and, and bro, you know what type of person I am, bro. I come in here and I didn't walk right by them. I'm, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no. trying we to show sure like, well, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I come in here late. I come in here probably like I'm smelling like a different smell that like, from outside. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, I apologize. How y'all doing, right? Like whole time. It don't matter where I'm at, bro. It never fail, bro. Barber shop, tattoo shop, club, strip club. If I'm if I'm at my homeboy's spot and he got some hoes over, like, hey, how you doing? I'm my my name Fab. I know who you are. Yeah. What? I'm like, what? I've never seen you in my life, right? Like, yeah. keep this shit moving. Yeah. Whole time I leave and somebody called me, bro. Everybody was in here geeked because you came in here. Yeah. I'm like, bro, whoa, like how? Like I didn't know that at all. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, gonna show it in your face. Yeah, and and, and it's like, like just that. like you said, something as simple as like somebody like Rick Ross liking your picture or, or one of the podcast videos oh, or they, something. Yeah, they or, you know what I'm me. saying? And it's like it's like damn, that's crazy. Like you really. You know, it's, like, it's cliche, right? Like, you really don't know who's watching, right? Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You don't know like, who's watching until they watching. Exactly. Like, that, it's cliche, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like, bro, like, like, like you said, bro, I'm I'm, I'm this type of person, bro. I really came from where I came from, bro. Yeah. I'm like, I did what I did mm. to, to get where I'm at. To, I took the losses and I took them like a man, and, yeah. I, and you know what I'm saying. And I and I took the L's and I ain't cry about it. I kept moving. Y'all wouldn't have known I I took no L's if I ain't say. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's it. I feel real you strongly know, you know, about think that about type it, like, of shit. Since you were here, like we went down to New Orleans, we did uh, <coughs> Mr. Servon, we did KL, we did Sharani, we did a uh, little Soldier Slim. Soldier Slim's family, like, mm -hmm. like you know, I like, I, I, I go, I go get it. We went to Chicago, did Larry Hoover nah, Jr. Bro, I be seeing, I be we seeing went you to, I go like everywhere, man. I don't play. Yeah, I'm yeah. a grown man. Like, mm -hmm. I go to the hood where, it, you know, I get it like that. Like, I just feel like that's the way you gotta be when it's just me. Like, I move around like yeah. that anyway. So now it's just an additive to, you know what I'm saying? Just to sit down with the right people and yeah. really just show love to the people while I'm there. That's all I be doing. Nah, bro. Like, that's, I feel like that's the name of the game, though. Yeah. Like, I feel like for, for. I don't know, but I'm just so I, like me as an as an artist. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's important, especially for like y'all for a podcast, for an interview, for like a like a channel. You know what I'm saying? Like it's important to touch the city, bro. Like yeah. like no matter where you are, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll go to Chicago, L. A. Yeah, I don't know, right? I'm j anywhere, and I'm like, okay, well, where you know what I'm saying? Where the strip club at? Where the little hoes at? Where the strippers at? Let me meet one of these little girls. Let me let me come out to the hood and go get one of these little chicken spots. It's like I'm not tripping, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I don't know. I feel like that's important, bro. A lot of people don't don't like. A lot of people just seem to overlook that. You feel me? Like overlook that. Like it's been so many times I've been up in the club or, or or with a DJ in the booth or whatever, right? And they're like, man, fair, bro. Like you always come back and show us love, bro. We play your music. We've been playing your music since the first day, and and you always still pull up, bro. And I'm like, well, shit, I gotta pull up, bro. Little do you know, I'm fucking on this. Oh, that's over there right now. <laughs> but at the same time, like, man, you my boy. I wouldn't be able to fuck this girl, talk to this girl if you didn't play my music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whole time. Mm -hmm. After I'm with her for a week, two weeks, she gonna say, "I used to love when they played your song." Damn, I ain't even know you. I ain't even know you knew I made music. Now I gotta go. Now it's burnt. <laughs> now it's burnt out. Now I gotta. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, 
That's neither here nor I gotta there, ask you about I'll get uh, you on that part I gotta ask you about 6ix9ine uh, uh, Would you ever make music Boosie was mad about that man Would you ever make music With 6ix9ine uh, Because of the Predicament of the street code Man bro Kodak Black did I it I ain't gonna lie I was finna I say I was finna say bro Like I feel like bro I had a crazy conversation About this with my man The other day They was just saying like I can't remember what they were saying. Basically, like like that 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 they try to put a plot together or something or some shit. I'm like, bro, nah. What I think happened is like, like Takashi Six Nine is known for like obviously like trolling and 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 getting people's you know riled up and comments going on Instagram and whatever, right? He known for doing viral trolling shit, bro. This was supposed to happen, bro. It wasn't supposed to be Kodak or necessarily, you know, Boosie or Gucci or NBA Youngboy or anybody that's one of these type of guys, right? It could have been anyone. That's a normal move for Takashi 6 9 right? It's like football. It's like soccer. It's like basketball. It's like, you okay. Like, it yeah, bro. It's like, it's like, like, okay. It's a mind game. For you take the blueprint of what that press guy is finna play like for these last four games, and we know what he gonna throw this time. Right, bro. Takashi six nine. That's not that's not out the water for him. He 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 beefing with Anuel because now he with his baby mama and and man, come on, bro. Like that was supposed to be your man, and then they snitched, and then this happened, and now he beefing. Now you with the baby mama. Like he was beefing with Juice. Like it, this is a common pattern, yeah, is what yeah, I'm saying. Beefing with Jay Prince, he did all kinds. Yeah, of bro. This is a common pattern for for Takashi six nine. Now, right? now he does the song Kodak Black. But what I'm saying is involving Kodak is like. This is an outlandish move for Kodak Black, though. Exactly. You feel me? He usually wouldn't do that. So what I'm saying is, like, it had to be someone like him, though. It had to be Kodak or YB or, or, or Gucci or Boosie or Plies. Or, it had to be someone like that, like a real, like, I'm a gangster and I'm street code. It had to be somebody like that. To do a feature with to him. To do a feature with him. Because whoever did that, we're talking about it right now. So they know how to make the noise. Yes, bro. Yeah, bro. You, you really think them boys really give a fuck about it? Bro, them folks got paid money, bro. Yeah. Them folks got paid a million. Suppose, I mean, I don't know. They said a million. There. They said a million ticket. I wasn't, I wasn't there. I wasn't was. in them conversations. I seen the ticket. I seen the video. Was a million ticket. Of Wax video. showing a check, right? Yeah. Was, all I'm saying, bro, all I'm saying, long story short, is like, that was a that was a regular move for Takashi, but it was a crazy, it was a, it was a motherfucking outlandish move for Kodak. And for that, for that, thank you so much. For that to be done, it's like, bro, we're talking about it right now. He got paid a whole bunch of money, bro. He got, he got like people debating him now. But did you see the video? Yeah, y'all saw the video. I, I, I don't think I it was it. outlandish, bro. Movie, bro. I want to ask you about that. I was finna say, bro, <laughs> fam, bro. Kodak came in there. Kodak came in there with a hoodie and shorts on. I mean, I'm wearing shorts right now, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, you're doing a multi-million dollar video budget, whatever the case is, that you know finna go viral, that you know finna whatever, right? And and the girl on the song, too. You know, the girl, she do reggaeton music. You know, like I said, that's Anuel, Baby Mama. She do Spanish music, but this song is all over the world right now. It don't matter, oh, yeah. what, it don't matter what me and you think. They I, playing I this shit I'm, in, I'm in Turks right, right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why? They playing this shit. put that work in way before when you done all that craziness. I know but that. I will, that I will say. That nigga dude. He, 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 he rich. He's rich. He's rich. He, he, can, he can get your attention. That's what I will, I will say, don't though. Don't put that up there. Oh. trip. I will say, though. I learned some stuff that I like from the shit that I've been going through in my in my own life lately. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to. It's over here. It's right here. Cameras. Three oh. four chick cameras on you. Boom. That my thumbnail. Boom. Yeah. So so the 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 one thing I can say, man, is is you like like you got to look at it when you don't you start chewing that ice. You can't do that when that oh, microphone. Oh yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That nigga no ice, man. I got right. ice. I don't chew it. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, so I forgot I had this right. one. That's oh, what happens when you feel you. comfortable, bro. Huh? What happens when you feel oh, comfortable? Oh, yeah, it's cool over here. Anything. That's my guy right there. But you got to understand, man. Like, since you left here, man, you had a lot of stuff to happen. Like, uh, you mm -hmm. know, uh, was it, uh, what, what's the boy name that got killed in Houston? Takeoff? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. And and then um, yes, sir. you got you got all kind of different things that been transpiring, man. Boosie actually went to jail. There was a lot of stuff that was happening, bro. I um, seen a bunch of weird. A shit lot going of stuff on. that was going on. Like, how do you keep yourself, you know, grounded and not in the midst of trouble? Like, how how are you staying staying out the way? I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That it goes it goes with what I just said about like Kodak and whoever, whatever we were just talking about, right? Like. I'm a big believer, but lately, bro, like in the shit that I've been dealing with in my life, and like and like kind of going through, and like learning and living. You know, I'm getting older nowadays, and I'm, I'm I started this shit. I was blessed enough to start this shit at a young age. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know, bro. I just feel like I've been I've been really on some like I'm not dealing with nothing that ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not trying to insert myself into nothing that don't want me to be there. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm really just like doing whatever. Whatever works for me, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So it's like, if you want me to come do the podcast, bro, I'm I'm, I'm more than grateful, and I'm gonna come do it. You want me to they booking me at the club, I'm gonna go do it. Giving me a free bottle, I'm gonna go take the bottle. I, if I don't drink, fuck it, I give it to la, how I'm with or my little brother or something. You know what I'm saying? I'll do whatever I need to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, bro, I just been trying to like not really just value opinions like but dog y- y'all ain't paying my bills dog like I'm I'm you know what I'm saying I I got real shit going on in real life if y'all can't help me with that then what really what are we talking exactly. about you asking me about why I'm posting this on Instagram like Instagram like you know what I'm saying like I am a hu- I am a human I being the same way. you know what I'm saying I am a real way, person I am a real human being even even girls bro like oh why are you posting these hoes what like bro what like Go get off my you looking to paying too much attention, you know what I'm saying? And like like you said, people getting killed and, and going to jail and stuff like that, bro. I just be I don't know, bro. It's, it's just like crazy. Like like do you feel like like when you look at like the music in Dallas since when you seen, you know, from Mo three passing until now, like like did the music kinda you hear people say, Man, there's some live music out here and I hear the artists they saying, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But do you really feel that hit value like when you look at a Memphis or when you look at a, 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 a whether it be a, a California or, or a New York? Like, where is this, when it come to Dallas or, or Houston, where is the music at, man? Is the music losing losing its essence? Bro, in, I can tell you in Dallas. I know, I know where you're going, but what, I want to I hear what you think. Money Moses. I got you. Like, the reason why you actually don't hear it in Dallas like that is because people don't stand behind each other. It's okay. like they gonna always throw hate to the to the other man. So I mean, I don't know why they do it. They just do it. Just like last night when Earl Spence lost. Right. Why everybody start talking down on him? He only lost one fight in his whole life. Right, right, just right. Just one right. fight, and the whole city talking down. Like why? I'm like y'all sitting before the fight. Y'all was sitting here throwing, hey, he's the best fight in the world. This and that. Now as soon as he leave, everybody talking down on him. Now it's like that's ah. how that is is. That was his life. That's why I don't nobody want to come here. That's why I don't nobody want to be here because they always say Dallas is the worst place to come because they talk down on each other. Instead of raising each other up, when he lost, y'all supposed to support him. Now he don't even. I guarantee he don't even want to come. Back. I wouldn't even want to come back. I will say I ain't gonna lie, cause what you saying is real true, bro. I don't know. Like I just said, I don't know where Earl Spence from. You know what I'm saying? Say I don't, he was. He from Oak Cliff. Oh, no, okay. they say he from New York, but he moved to Dallas and he been in. And, been in Oak Cliff and, and, ever since then. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, you know what I'm saying. I didn't know that. So if you're from the Cliff, you're from the Cliff. That's cool. Point is, what I'm trying to say is like, like. I will say, like the hit factor thing that you're saying, I feel like I, I don't have an answer for that because then it, I, I'm i even in question then, you know what I'm saying? So me, Big X, Tay, BZ, Fred, we're all in question. Don't I can't answer that, you know what I'm saying? So with that with that being said, though, I will agree on the fact of like, like, bro, Dallas is just real big, bro, first and foremost, right? DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Grapevine, whatever, whatever, right? We're like, ain't it like the fourth biggest metroplex in like the country or something? Yeah, no, it's not. It's Houston. Houston is the fourth biggest city. Okay. In the in the in the in the US. See, but Houston Houston is like Houston. Dallas is what I just said. It's DFW. But the, it's all this other shit. Yeah, and, yeah but, but the, it, it's just structure, bro. Like you can't also, even bring also, people together for even. I it. can't put a flex and fab, a big extra plug, a yellow beezy, and a a, a, a a Duro on the same song, and a Post Malone. Well, Ain't nobody. I'll tell you why. Let me I'll tell you why. People not coming together. Or, and a big tuck. Mm-hmm. It's sad, but everybody think they own they in their own little zone, mm-hmm. and they don't have no unity, and exactly that's the problem. Exactly. And then you will never, you know, something that Farrakhan said when he was 
saying them speeches back in the day it makes so much sense he said our unity is more powerful than an atomic bomb it sure is really. but the unity is not in the market it's so not so when you look at the people that, that's why they they don't have a lot of power in they, I'm, trying we, to, I'm trying to tell you Dallas to, supported Dallas it wouldn't even need nobody I'm trying to tell man. you what I what nobody I else. what I think what I think because only from my I can only speak from my experience right I'm trying to tell you Dallas so motherfucking big it's no reason why I have to ask where Earl Spence from I feel like I'm active in my community. I, I'm active where I'm from. I did a school drive. I'm 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 tapped in. We did a block party the other day. I didn't even get to go. You know what I'm saying? We did a I'm active where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Mo three was out there, and, and you know what I'm saying. May God rest his soul. You know what I'm saying? He from same same shit that uh, uh, Forest Lane. I did all that same shit. That's where I'm from, right? So with that being said, it's like why is is I just feel like bro, it's so many sides on the same side. How come me and three that never did shit? How come me and three we was we was talking about the streets that are five minutes away from each other, mm -hmm. but in our hood that's two different sides. And so me and three got along with 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 some people that knew each other, but me and him never met. Or, or you know what I'm saying? Or or, or why BZ and them and, and and Earl Spence and them they get together and walk each other out to the fights and stuff like that. But Big X, I mean, I guess he walked them out last night. Last but night. but you know what I'm saying? They don't got songs or something like right. I'm just saying like it's bro, it's so big and you're right. Like bro, you get something no, you popping, bro. I feel like personally. Then, like I said, I'm done name dropping and shit, right? But like me personally, bro, I get some shit popping tomorrow, and I ain't, bro, I ain't looking back. Here, here's the I'll thing. be the first one Here, to admit that. Thing. I'm gonna tell you something. Right now, Big X got the club, the, got the got the song we from uh, from Texas, Texas, but he the only one on it. Mm -hmm. You understand? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He the yeah. only one on it. Like, yeah. like you know how many people they could remix? They could, they could have did something, and came together with a remix, and put the main hitters on there, mm -hmm. and made that song so big. But they too busy trying to figure out a way to ho harness everything on their own, and it's just no unity. You know, it's funny. Did you, did you know about the um, Hurricane Relief song we did? No. Go on your phone right now or later, whenever yeah, I want to. Right uh, on on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever. Back when Hurricane Harvey hit, yeah, we did a fucking hurricane relief. Like we went and donated a bunch of shit and like hand goods and clothes and whatever, right? And we did a song that who, who all was the proceeds it? was going to the thing. It was it was zero. It was his play, right? He put this shit together. So obviously somebody like that can come in and call shots, right? It was zero. The row, me, Paul Wall, Slim, Flip. BZ, Freddie, Kiki, and then some Houston dudes that I didn't really know. I didn't know them. You know what I'm saying? It was like probably some TSF dudes. I, I didn't know them at all, right? But from Dallas, it was just me, Darrell, BZ, and Freddie. And, and it was all of us on the song. The song ain't good. The song ain't, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was kind of like, everybody was, no one was like Too famous. Many personality. You know what I'm saying? Too like, personality. Yeah, it was like a long ass song. Everybody got like four bars, bro. Like nobody was really, me, BZ, Freddie, like we was just kind of like, just barely met each other. Well, they knew each other, but I just met them. They just met me. DeRoe's kind of like, DeRoe's already DeRoe. Who put it you know together? Like, Kudos to them. Zero. They put, put it together. All of his yeah, people put it man. together. Yeah, man, they That's put crazy. it together. I like that. And and we did that, bro. I'm telling you, go look on it. Like I said, bro, it's not good. It's it. not a fucking... I've been probably about 10 minutes long, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you know them long. Houston boys, they like doing that type of shit. I, let me just say this. The point is, is they stand together, though, Kiki bro. Kiki just did a song that had Trap Boy on it. It had uh, Kiki on his newest uh, 25 Summers. He had Trap Boy on it. He had... Uh, uh, what's the boy from Waco? Hot Boy to be on it. Hot Boy mm -hmm. West. Mm -hmm. He had, uh, hey, I fuck with Wes. Yeah, but I he locked up Wes. now, ain't he? He is, bro, and that make me sad, bro. Just cause, like, you know, I fuck with Gio, obviously. So yeah, Gio, of course. Gio still do all my shit. I told Gio I was coming here today. Whatever, though. No, shout out to Gio, though, yeah, man. Yeah, shout my out to boy, Gio. That's man. my boy. That's the first one brought you boy, here. Man. Look, you know Gio. Yeah, he do sure. all my that's videos, man. Here. He do all hey, my videos. Hey, Waco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, that's my brother, bro. Real talk. Anyway, I seen him do Wes shit, bro. Like, and I just started just keeping up with it, bro. I fuck with Wes, bro. Like, I feel that like... he got locked up. Yeah, man. It, it break my heart because he was just popping, bro. Like, he was live, bro. He was just like... Just LD 300. Like, it, he had all these people on that track. Like, for like look, Kiki and them, they, they get it right. They come and they try to put people together on their tracks and try to bring the people together. See, I also think, though, like, I feel like we're missing, like, a... Excuse me. I feel like we're, we're, we're kind of overlooking the fact that it's like, bro, zero called 
Kiki can call. Maybe even Paul Wall can call. Slim can. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel uh, like. And Duro can call. Fe- Flex and Fab can call. I feel like I've you tried. You, uh, when? I feel like I've tried. You tried to put a God. massive song nah, together. I, I've never done. I've never tried doing like That's that. That's what I said. But I've definitely, I've definitely tried to reach out to people. You should try. You know what I'm saying? I, and I, you know what? I will try. And you can call me. I'll help you. I'm going to, when we leave here. Look, you know how little Kiki ended up uh, rocking with, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait, with Wes? Yeah. Because yeah. you, you, he seen him on your shit? He called me and, that, and, and there I, you link, go. I linked him up. There you go. And you've definitely called me before saying people have asked about me yeah, and shit yeah, too. I'm, yeah. also, I'm also just a dickhead and I'll be like, yeah, or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my flaw, uh, flaw also. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm also an asshole and I don't really care about what the next person say. But it's also, I feel like, like when I first, I feel like I got a lot of, uh, uh, I'm jaded from when I first started. Like I said, with all the nail painting and shit like that, like nobody wanted to fuck with me. I feel like I'm still jaded from that. And I feel like I'm even stunted in my own, not stunted in my own growth, but I haven't noticed my own growth. Like when you get a dog. Yeah. You get a dog and you're playing with it every day and you're, it's a puppy and it's cute. And, and I come back two months from now and I'm like, damn, bro, your dog big as hell. And you're like, what do you mean? It's a, but you see it every day and yeah. you feed it yeah. every day and you play with it every day and you take a bath every day. I ain't seen it in two months. The dog big now in my eyes. Right, I feel like I'm I, f- I feed this shit every day. I feel like I like bro. I just did Nike. Really? You seen that? Uh-uh. I thought that's where y'all got that picture. Bro, I just did. Are you joking, man? What? Look at this. You just I'm did on Nike. Times Square and everything. What you doing with Nike? I did a. Uh, they 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 had some new shoes coming. They called my manager. Said, bro, I want fat part of the campaign. You ain't see that? No. Dog, I don't Let even know what to it. say. Let Look me at see this. it. We gonna stop this real quick. Hold on, we gotta put a phone out of this shit. I gotta see this, this shit, bro. I gotta see this. They they called my manager, bro. They and said, "You did look, it in New York." I did it here. Oh, you did it here. Here on my on my little sister, we took my my photo shoot. We did it at Big Mama's on Forest Lane. I'll tell you. I swear to God. Let me see this, man. Look, this picture just on my Instagram, right? That's where those pictures came from. That's crazy. I still stay on there. Wow. That's where you from? Hell, yeah, no, I ain't from there. I stay in that area. Where you from? Lose them. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's hard. Yes, man. bro. That's that's pictures I just posted on my Instagram, right? But, but like, they, when it uh, had it came out with it yet, they didn't care. Yeah, but I'm trying to show you. Look, I, I put a reel together. <laughs> let me see. Oh, fuck that. Hold on. Let's see. I put a. I put a. Let's see. Where this shit at? Because I was already. They published it. I want to say last month or two months ago. Look, Nike posted the shit and everything. Like. Like, they just put the shit up in, like, New York, L.A. They just started broadcasting that shit this That's week. Hard. Yes, bro. Hell yeah. So they, 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 and, they, and they reached out to you. They reached out, bro. They reached out. They said, bro, Paco, man, we fuck with Fab, bro. We want Fab part of the campaign. How's Paco doing? He good, bro. He's still managing. Who else? He was, he still be helping with uh, Paul? We, he uh, yeah, he helps Paul. He helped with Tom. But it's really just me. You know what I'm saying? You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Tom got other people involved too. Paul obviously got his people involved. Course, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Goo, I be talking to Goo. Yeah, yeah, man. I fuck my boy Goo and Paul. Yeah, man. so shouts out to them boys. Shouts out um, to Goo and Paul. Okay, what about Post Malone? Last time you had met Post Malone, didn't you? I went to a show. Yeah, yeah. yeah my man, sh- my man, that uh, the tattoo shop. I'm telling you, they, they do. He do all his tattoos and shit. So we had went to the show, and it wasn't nothing like. It's not my boy or nothing. You yeah, know what you just want yourself. But did, let me ask you this: Like, would you ever do anything with like the like the Tom Toms? Bro, the, I would do anything with anybody. The big tux, bro. The, you know what I'm saying? Let me say this shit right now, bro. Well, first of all, I love Tom and Tuck to death. I love Tom and Tuck. Fat bees, right. throw him in there too. Well, yes, bro. That it was crazy. Is I seen him at uh, I was doing a feature for somebody just randomly, and Paco ended up coming with me on like just. One did like it was a random day. Pac goes like, "Fuck it, I'll come with you, right?" And Fat Fat B was at the studio that day, and we just chopped it up. Bro, I love them boys, bro. Like that's Paco people who put him on. Yeah. How I can't love them too? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I got to Trini, George, all them boys, bro. NPR, they bro, man, bro. I I I fuck with all them boys. With that being said. My phone's just going crazy. I be at home all day doing nothing, bro. No one wants to say anything to me. Now I'm in the middle of some shit. My phone's just going crazy. I would do anything with anybody. Tom, Tuck, DeRoe, Beezy, Freddie, Tate, Big X, Splurge. I'm calling out everybody, bro. I go Yayo. I fuck with Bugatti. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I I I don't have no like like 
bad blood. I don't have no no hate in my body, bro. I don't hate nobody, bro. I don't I don't I don't love nobody, bro. I don't know I don't know them. I don't know anybody that I just named right now. You know what I'm saying? All y'all done did y'all own thing. Yeah, yeah. I know Tum and Tuck, cause like I said, cause Paco, bro, I fuck with Tum the long, 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 long way. You know what I'm saying? Cause cause like I said, he done uh like he uh him and Flip even did the remix to one of my songs on their project. You know what I'm saying? That's like good. like they they didn't show me love and shit like that, bro. I fuck with Tay. I, I, those are the only people like I know in real life though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else has always been high and by. Everybody else has always been, oh, we must be on the same lineup. What's up, bro? Good to see you. Mm-hmm. Love. Mm-hmm. Keep doing your thing. See you next week, right? Like maybe I see I don't know, Trap Boy Freddy in the bar or something. What's up, brother? You good? Yeah, hell yeah, I bet. Right? Like, that's it. That's it. I don't know these boys. You know what I'm saying? I don't know anybody. Like, it's I never got business, a chance. Bro. Huh? It's business, though. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not crying saying, oh, I want to yeah. be your friend. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's like, if it's up to me, bro, like, I'll give features on my projects. Yeah. I'll, I'll do features for other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't be chipping, bro. Like, I really don't take... This shit ain't supposed to be serious like that, bro. This shit supposed to be fun, sure, bro. bro. They take it too serious, bro. Then you know, when they get mad, somebody talk down on them, bro. Yeah, they, yeah, they nah. I'm, I'm not saying they take it serious. I don't know what they think or anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like in in the music business is what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Because even even my extension go far. Like I said, going fuck around with with Zay and them in the A, fucking around with Paul and them in the H. And you know what I'm saying? I I even been fucking around with Happy Perez. That's who I really been working with lately. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Going out to LA and New York and, and bro, it's like, bro, this shit supposed to be fun, bro. Like, this ain't supposed to be no, bro. We don't work at Walmart. We not clocking in and taking cigarette breaks and you know what I'm saying. We don't work at AutoZone, bro. Like, this supposed to be fun, bro. I don't, I don't try to take myself too serious, bro. I, it was one point where I did. It was one point where I tried to like, fuck that, bro. I don't paint my hair no more, bro. I'm a, I'm a fucking. This where I'm from and mm-hmm. right, like, if that's not even who I am. First, second of all, it's like. Like, like, dog, what we doing this for if I can't come in here and get drunk and talk to a hoe and smell good and, and hug on a bitch and, and she gonna say, Fab, stop, you smell good. I'm gonna be like, yeah, go, t-, or, or tell my partner, like, why you better hurry up if I go, in. you know what I'm saying? Like, why, why, well, this is supposed to be what fun. we, yeah, bro, this is what we supposed to live for to, to really have, to enjoy this shit, you know what I'm saying? Why am I doing this shit if I don't wanna enjoy this shit? Like, like, I'll tell you the truth, I, I, bro, I'll tell you the truth, bro, I'm hurt, bro. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, like in my heart, in my mind, in, 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 my, in my life of traumas and stuff, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. relationships, or growing up, childhood, whatever, like, I'm hurt, I'm, a, I'm hurt, bro. You know what I'm saying? But then like, them need a blessed one. That's why God bless you like you do. And that, and that's what I, that's what I'm getting at. Like so, in order to 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 uh come back and 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 still wake up and put on Palm Angels and put on good cologne that smell good yeah. and put on nice and, shoes and, and be able to wash my face good. Alexander McQueen. Yeah, I see man, you come on, come, come on. on. I got you know some. I know, I know, I know, what I know it is. you do. I see the watch too. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Come on, come out here and really just. Come in and be like, they want to spit everywhere. Come in and be like, man, bro, I feel good. I'm happy to be here. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, what type of person that's gonna make me if I came in here and say, man, bro, e man, this shit sucks, dog. I'm, I'm pissed. I'm not, no, bro. Like, I'm coming here and I'm having fun, bro. You like, as like, you should. Like you said, like we was supposed to come in here and do this stuff earlier, like. I admit it's my fault. You know what I'm saying I don't had a I don't had a long night, bro. You okay. follow me on Instagram. You see what I like doing, bro. I'm, I'm young, bro. I'm handsome, bro. I'm popular, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm I fuck with hoes, bro. I real life fuck with hoes, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? The streets, like, huh? Yeah, you in the like, streets. Yeah, you're in the streets. I am, bro. Damn, yeah. I am, bro. <laughs> nah, I can't. And what's crazy <laughs> is I don't even. I'm not running away from nothing no more. Is what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. I'm not hiding no more, bro. Yeah. I'm not. Oh no, bro! I'm cool, bro. Another no, bro. I'm not cool, bro. You know what? Let me tell you something. I have a theory, bro, that I've been dealing with in my mind for a long time, bro. That goes on with what you just, which is what me and you were talking about, about like artists that that you know takes us too seriously and kind of just like business is business, right? I'm a big believer on business is business, but at the same time, bro, like I'm not afraid to be myself. You I'm can saying? be yourself in business. Yeah, bro. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. I'm not gonna come in here and act like nothing I'm not, or pretend to be something that I want to be, or something, right? Yeah. Or, or or pretend that I'm not the way that I actually am. Like, no, bro. Like, 
if I'm sitting up in the crib and we chilling and we smoking a blunt or, or, or we eating some food, and I'm just like, bro, E, bro, man, I gotta take a shit real quick for a bit. Like, <laughs> like what? Well, like, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. Like, I'll be right back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like whatever. Like, oh, bro, hey, bro, it's a, it's a hoe outside. I'm finna go duck off real quick and come back in a little bit. Like, right? Like, like I'm not finna, like, Sit here and pretend, bro. Like I'm, I'm, I'm done putting on a. Let me tell you something, man. We love you. Period. Thank you, you my bro. guy. So I, feel I don't love, even care bro. nothing about it. none of that. As long as you okay, yeah. like I always tell you, when you call me or if I call you and check on you, mm -hmm. I really call genuinely to say, be, I hope you're okay. You know. Yeah, bro. And I, and I appreciate <coughs> that. That's all that really matters to me. I, I appreciate that, bro. Cause like, like it's been it's been a lot of times where like I needed I needed you know like like I said like in my life like. Maybe it was Pac or maybe it was like different producers I was working with. My boy AZ just got signed. Shout out to AZ. Shout out AZ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I needed someone that at that moment, you know what I'm saying? Where sometimes my battery run out. Yeah. And sometimes, like I said, the dark times do catch up. You know what I'm saying? And 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 when I'm at home and and the party's over and the bottles are gone and the hoes done left and, and your man went home to his kids or his girlfriend or, or and you just sitting at home by yourself and it's three in the morning and you sitting there and you're like, damn, like. You gotta really look at reality. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, it remind me of, 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 see, it's like, not what I do for myself, because that's gonna be you and me and everybody at the end of the day. At, at the end of the day, I come here and I feel loved and it's fun. And if I drink, we'll be taking shots right now. You know what I'm saying? Or we'll be whatever. But it's like, what made you stop drinking, like, man, bro? Tell a real story. Uh, I'll tell the real story, yeah, but real fuck story. it, bro. I'm on. I'm on, man. I'm. We gonna post this part so y'all can see this part, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. I caught a, I caught a, I caught a DWI. It was tough, and I'm on papers, bro. You know, yeah, what I'm it saying? was tough, mm -hmm. and and that's the re harsh reality of it. Like it's a thing that you now know that you got to take extra precautions. Like I was crashing out too, though. I ain't gonna lie. So that might have been a net to save you. It was from something crazy it happening. Was. I was acting crazy. I was going a little too hard. Yeah, I was kind of like in my in my mind, back of my head, thinking like. Hey man, this DUI shit coming up, court coming up. Let's just go. Let's just take this. Let's get super fucked up and let's just get this one last. Trying to chase that final right, mm -hmm. and it's just, bro, that shit never comes, bro. No, you know and saying? and and the thing is, man, like I said, you you blessed, man. Those situations right there are bumps and bruises that's yeah. going to shape and mold you into who God wants you to be. Yeah. How important is God, man? I think it's important. You can't see it right now. I just I just got this done. Like I got the fucking jacket. I don't want to do all that, but it's wrapped <laughs> up right now. I just I, I think I think like but I talk to God every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. talk to God every day. You know, whatever whoever your God is, whoever you talk to or whoever it is that y'all believe in, I talk to my God every day. And 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 I ask for nothing. Like I said, it's the it, I got Saint Jude right here. So yeah. Bulas, you know what I'm saying? And it's mm -hmm. kinda like, you know, patron of the lost. But, you know but it, it, it's it's something because people don't realize that, like, your mind, you think so much. Like, your yeah. mind is going like that. Yeah. Everybody's mind. The things that we think a lot of times don't even get spoken mm -hmm. because we're thinking so fast. And sometimes think so much. when you think something, something else jumps up that's more important than that and you bypass that thought. But the, your mind, yeah, the, 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 the battle starts with the mind. It do. I Meaning like you talked about the three o'clock in the morning, like that's when the that's when that's the when harsh the reality kicks yeah. in of I gotta deal with me now. Ain't nobody here to talk to, ain't no way to mm -hmm. shadow this whole situation. Mm -hmm. So that's why I asked you about God, because when you can't talk to nobody else, man. Nah, he, bro, I, he, and you know, I, and I got this tat on my back that say, uh, trust no one but God. Right. You get that's who I trust. See, and what and what's crazy is like I hear a lot of stuff like that, right? Only God can judge me. Trust no one but God. Like like stuff like that. And like I said, I, I never I always encourage. I want to hear what that means to yeah. you, and I want to yeah. hear how it's helped well, it's you. It's something stuff. that you got to meditate on. See, most people can't tap into their spiritualism because you have to stop, like you just said, during them three o'clock in the morning uh -huh. time, and you have to meditate. Right? Uh -huh. You have to, meditation is good, but. You have to read. I read what I believe in. So right. I believe in the word of God. So I'll meditate in that. I'll sit sometime and read. I'll sit sometime and meditate on what I've read before. And then those deep thoughts and those deep uh, longings for God, I tap into a place where I can't explain. Right. You see what I'm saying? I do. But you can't do that if you're not, you have to have a clear mind. You have to have peace. 
You have to. You you got to stop all. The, you got to push everything out the way. Mm -hmm. You got to let some things fall back. See, and what's, and what's crazy is is like okay, I, like I said, I I, I hear about a, a lot of you know sayings and stuff like that, which which like to me is is like, okay, that's what that means to you. I got this. <clears throat> excuse me. I got this St. Jude. It's like you know St. Jude's Hospital, all this type of stuff. Patron of the lost, all this type of stuff. Right when I feel. And I, like, I'm like four or five in the morning, three in the morning, sitting at home, and I do feel lost. And I sit down, and I and I think, and I'm like, okay, well, well, all I need is the rededication. I'm not lost. You know what I'm saying? I sit and I talk to God, and I pray, and I and I and I think to myself, and I control, and I look at my rational decisions, and I and I and I'm and I'm trying to grab back the control of my uh uh like. My, my life yeah, and like my mind my yeah, thoughts yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. and I promise you I swear to God I, I'll tell y'all I'll tell everybody listening and stuff like I, I I pray bro and I ask for the same things every single time bro it's just you give me clear mind a uh, 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 peace of mind clear thoughts strength and dedication and motivation to keep going and doing what I'm doing because what I'm doing it, it may not like I said it's like having a puppy like like it may not see uh, uh i may not be able to see it because i'm i got my tunnel vision on and i'm right like this and to everybody else they see what i'm doing and it's great you know what i'm saying yeah. and sometimes it ain't it ain't about what you do for yourself it's what you do for everybody else but you, you know, know what I'm saying? so is a man thinking his heart so is he whatever you think you are or what's going to become you that's what mm. becomes you mm. i believe there's power in what you say you see speak and I, things into existence and i had to i had to realize i had to learn that like on top of speaking some into uh, uh, existence and stuff like that, it's like, like your environment, right? Your environment, your surroundings and stuff like that. People, whether it's a, a situation, a person, a relationship, whatever. I was in a relationship with me and you met. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And 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 as much as I was painting a picture of how great it was or whatever, it's kind of like it it, it it we had to let that stuff go. You know what I'm saying? I had to let it go and I had to move on with my life, right? So with that being said, it's like drinking and whatever and the and the I stopped drinking and stuff. Like I said, I was crashing out, I got in trouble, I caught whatever the case is, right? It's like bro, I felt like like I was back I'm back now in in charge of my life. Like I'm not running away from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not hiding from nothing. I'm going through this shit. I'm feeling this shit. Yeah. I'm 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 taking this shit and I'm not just like all right, yeah, bro, let's get it done. I'm over with. Nah, nah. And I'm going through this shit, and I'm learning through this shit, and I feel like I'm moving better. I'm in the club. I'm understanding better. I'm pulling better hoes. I'm talking better. I smell better. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, just think about, think about it like this, Flex. If you ever need anything, you know what I'm saying? You can always pick up the phone and call me. My mm -hmm. number don't change, bro. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many other niggas real about what they say, but I, when I tell you something, you can, hey, if I tell you a duck can pull a truck, you mm -hmm. better hook him up. Yeah. You understand? Hell yeah. <laughs> so, I believe it. That means, so just just hit me up, man. I don't care what time of the day it is or night, man. I'm always here for a conversation, man. Yeah. So don't ever think, if it's it ain't never too late, it ain't never too early, it's always right on time. Just mm -hmm. hit, me, hit my line, bro. My bro I, I appreciate that, bro. I, I do. And like like I always tell y'all, like, I'm, I'm always grateful, like, I don't take opportunities for granted and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always grateful and I'm always appreciative to even be in y'all thoughts. Man, even you be always, back invited. You always you know what invited, saying? though. You, you could have came back five months ago, a year ago, yeah, I yeah. called you. Yeah. I mean, you one of those guys that I told you from the jump when, when I did it. It was like, you locked in. We mm -hmm. locked all the way in. So, mm -hmm. It don't matter, like, and I, I, and I appreciate that, bro. Real a talk, lot of like, people come through. He'd be, he be like, man. Some people stop calling me. I talked to one preacher. I was like, man, we're gonna come on the show. You got all them people on there now. You got, you don't need me. Yeah. It ain't about that. Yeah, you changing on me. I ain't changing on you. Right. I'm telling you, come on. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still here with this. Shit you know started, what I mean? Right? Like, I'm the same. Do, we uh, the same crazy. on Tuesday, baby. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Yeah, because I be trying to get people to come back to ones that, like, people need to hear from Flex and Fab. People need to hear from Money Moses. Yeah. People need to hear from the pastors and the preachers and the yeah. people that been through here. The show, it's a real deal, man. We got love for you, baby. Hey, yeah. hey, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I appreciate it, man. Man, thank you for coming on the show. We're going to shut this thing down, man. Hey, we love you, Flex and Fab. And we, this ain't this just the start of many. He coming back. This guy right here, go listen to his music, man. Go check out his vibe, man. You'll see him. You'll see Zay Tobin on the track with him. You'll see a lot of times he did bit different moves over the years. He ain't he ain't new to this. He true to this, man. Check it, man.
Go, go. Also, I'm, I'm putting out a bunch of new music, too. I've been working with Happy Perez a lot. I'm working. I'm dropping all year. I've been dropping all year. And I'm dropping a... When is this coming out? It's coming out probably within a, a week or so. A week or so. Okay, I'm going to just say... I'm dropping a mixtape in August. Okay. I don't know when this is. This episode's coming out, but by the time you come out, maybe you, it'll be out. There you maybe, go. Right? But I'm dropping a mixtape in August. I'm back. I'm, I'm mixtape fam. I don't know mixtape Wheezy. Come on, let's do it. I'm, hey, I'm here. Well, how can people get a hold of Dave if they're trying to reach out? Flex and Fab on every single uh, platform, Spotify, Apple Music, Instagram, Twitter, same handle everywhere. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk.